Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alenview, and welcome back to one of the last episodes of Dagon Ropa 2 Goodbye Despair, at least from the main story. Dagon Island will be done later on, I just will probably take a break after that. Anyway, last time we found out that something is with Izuru Kamakura, the guy Ultimate Hope, so let's move forward is that kind of coincidence even possible nope not a chance in hell the future foundation might know something right kind of good how about it kyoko yeah. even within hope's peak academy there's very little information about a person called izuru kamakura Ooh, secrets it's a mystery if such a person ever really existed well okay that's not good and not just that the matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. Ah, uh, yeah, her father tried to investigate that, but didn't reach anything because of that. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. Oh, yeah. The reason Izuru's nope. existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Okay. Why did the Academy hide his existence? Because if he would have gotten in her hands. Or the thing get him out that it was an experiment on students that would have tarnished the reputation extremely. If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it mankind's hope, correct? Yeah. However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. That is actually wrong. That's a funny thing. That is wrong. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. No, he is not. Because that was actually her first killing game. Just a side note. And you're the one who set it up, right? That's true. Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? Don't say such cruel things. <laughs> right. That's it. Okay, you have one kill on your list, honestly. One kill you did yourself, and that was your sister. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Yep. Isn't that right, Hajime? Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> what? I am. What? Yeah. Like I said. You're Izuru Kamakura. Surprise! And even the music went off. Cool. Huh? Good. Alrighty! If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand! You're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're Izuru Kamakura, you're... <laughs> now, hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'll explain it till you understand. You're Izuru Kamakura. That is an explaining girl. That is not how explaining works in any possible way, even though I like you, Yunko. But that isn't how you explain something. Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamukura! Actually, there Izuru is. is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is. That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. Wow. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. <laughs> yep. So, I'm Izuru Kamakura? Is that where we get knocked out? No. Good news, Hajime! Even yeah. though you were mocked for being a reserve course student, yep. he had a talent all along! Ultimate Hope! Nah, nope. How can someone from the reserve course have Don't such an amazing away. talent like that? In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve course? Nope. Then Hajime's name is fake? Nope. There's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I've always had that name ever since I was born. Yeah. Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? Nope. I do not want any more last-minute plot twists. I want more. Created hope. 
Yep, that's that it. Must be it. That must be it. Now you can't stop it, but you... Are you talking about the Hope Cultivation Plan? Yep. Hope Cultivation Plan. What is that? Well... A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. Yeah. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. Yeah. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Yeah, and then you corrupted him. <laughs> Yeah. For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder. Yep. And called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Yeah. That's Izuru okay. Kamakura Project? Exactly. Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. Yeah. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Exactly. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? Because somebody willingly pays cash to be there and nobody was A missing. A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. Wow. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Ah, uh, Jimmy Hinata. Who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. Yep, that's true. Yeah. You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. Yep. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. Yeah, that's what? how it would. Yep. See, didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's the truth. Lies. That's definitely a lie. No, it's not. <laughs> After many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0. I hate the southern accent. You think transformed? Yes, exactly. What That's did what they I... do to him? A lot of stuff. Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. Yep. So naturally, they went to extremes. Yep. And fiddled with By his directly program. interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Yep. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. Yep. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. <sighs> I would love to talk about it, but That's I'm not gonna do it right now. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Uh, Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Uh, Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. Yep. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. Which is kind of ironic. <laughs> By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now, so even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Yeah. Did they really do something like that? They did. But if you think about it, if Hajime gets out of here, he's gonna be a super genius, right? Yeah, but still an ultimate despair super genius. Like I genius. said, he's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. Yeah. D different person? How is he different? Completely All different. All of the senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Yep. Exactly. All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Actually, it's kind of... Huh? Yep. Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? Nope. It sounds like he is a completely different person. That's what she told ya. So that's why it's so surprising that Hajime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. Yeah. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. Yep. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. Oh yeah. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Kind of. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. Exactly. And then she goes into the cutesy face. Oh. Disappear? 
Yep. All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality yeah. created by Hope Speak Academy. Exactly. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Yep. Disappear? I'm going to disappear? Disappear. 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 Uh, uh, I don't want to say it over and over again. And now we're falling into... But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. <gasps> really? I don't really understand, but... Guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. Hey, way to be a douchebag, Izuru Kamakura. You really don't play along, do you? Nope, he doesn't. Yeah, you remember. Was that me? No, that's that's not me. That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. Yeah. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I would love to say how, why he did it, but I can't because it's about Dragon Ball Three. Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was. Yeah. It's not me. Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it, no matter how hard you try. Whoa. <laughs> Have no way to be saved, you say? Yep. But you already know what you must do. Exactly. I do. I know. How can I be saved? I see it just now. In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. Yep. Even though she so, takes over. Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless happy ending. Yep. Hold on. You can't do that. No. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Jupiter. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the future foundation will be trapped here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't allow the future foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Oh. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. No, they are honest. That's not it. What we're saying is, we have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Yeah, but it's Do the truth. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? Yes. What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Then we have to change it. Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. Nah. That's... That. <laughs> Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the ultimate despairs, right? Yeah. Once you go back to being ultimate despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. Kinda. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. The Himidera is back. Oh. Not just dreadful. No. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> yep. And can you guys even endure that? Ooh. Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Oh. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love. There won't even be save data left of it. Yep. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. Yep. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. <laughs> These fucking bombs she's dropping. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For ourselves. For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Whoa. Does that sound like hope to you? Oh, it does. You can't believe her! That's how she works! Yeah, that's how she works! And she's damn good at that's this what job. She does, so she can lure you all toward despair. Yes, that's what she does. I would love to say something, but I'm gonna keep it back again. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. 
Biakria, don't you think we pushy will fail? Oh, what is it? Why are we still waiting? Because you are acting really bad, which is your character in a way, yeah. But still, dude. Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? We're fucked. No, I, I was just. No. How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now, it's finally started to calm down. Yep. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. Yep. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. Yeah. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? Exactly. You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Yep. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? Kinda. Kinda, 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 kinda. The thing is, we still need to talk about the motion that we have a chance to perhaps get him back somewhere. At this point, this is the only way. Yeah. No, no, no. There is another way. Okay. Yeah. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. But you're forcing the other three to stay there. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? Eh, not so sure. Not with you, girl. You guys, you can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. Yep. And which is true despair. Oh yeah, that tale. Um, what shall we do? Yeah. You're asking us? Exactly, you have to. You're telling us to decide? You have to. Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? Because this is the fate of it. If oh. everyone can overcome despair, you guys should be able to grasp true hope. Yep. If our memories up until now disappear, I will not even remember the reason everybody died. Yep. Are you really going to let her take over your friend's bodies? Mm hmm. You might think I'm a fool, but I want to see Pekko one more time. Yeah, I get that. If we turn back into ultimate despair, the future foundation might kill us, right? Yes, that's true. We won't let them do that. Yep, trust you, Kyoko. This is all the future foundation's fault. No! They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! You guys fucked it up For yourself! Your protection. If yeah. Junko escapes to the real world, we're fucked. There will be countless victims again. Yep. Uh, I know, but. Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! Oh, she loves it. Graduator shutdown. The world or me. Hope or despair, telling us to choose, to choose between that. Why? Why do we have to choose? I can't do it. No. Nope. Huh? I can't do it. Wait, what? I can't choose. Yeah. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. Yeah. And that, I can't decide. I can't choose either one. No, you can't. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! Yeah. This, this is just too much. Why do I, <laughs> why do I have to be a part of this? Is he what is he? I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. Dude, you don't have a talent? Are you freaking kidding me? We solved every fucking case with he with the help of Chiaki and Nagito most of the time. When he didn't go insane and try to kill us all off again. Oh. But even so, I got dragged into this. And now, my existence is going to disappear? Yeah, because you, you fucked up yourself. <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Yeah. Both choices are hopeless. 
And with this, we're going to end off this episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!